Hey everyone, in this one, I want to show you how we can create a simple form that allows a user to upload a file, and then we'll take that file and write it to an S3 bucket of our choosing. Let's jump right in. Starting out on wayscript.com, we already have a pre-built tool that can do something very close to what we need here. We'll just have to incorporate our own logic to write the files to S3. What we can do is use the pre-built form trigger. We can see what this is by just turning it on, then we can click on view form. This will give us the URL that we can find our form at. We see by default, we have a title and a submit button. We'll use these and we'll incorporate one more element. Let's add a form element here. And then from this selection, we'll choose a file upload. By default, we see that we have this PDF and we can specify custom file types if we want to. In this example, I'll keep it simple and I'll just choose .pdf. Now let's go back to that form. We can do that by clicking on this view form button. In this blank, what we'll do is title our file to upload. So we'll call it sample.pdf. And then from the selection, what I'll do is I will click on that button and then I'll choose a PDF that I have on my local machine. So in this case, let's select this A underscore PDF file and we'll choose to open it. Now what happens when we submit it is we'll get that information back over here in this struct down here. At this point, since we had the file uploaded, we just need the information and to send it to S3. We can do that using a programming language and I will choose Python to do it in this case. So we'll pull that in and we'll open the text editor. There's plenty of ways to interact with AWS and I'll just briefly go through one way. I'll use the Boto3 library and since I'm using a library, I'll need to be sure to go to my requirements.txt and put it in there. Since I don't plan on sharing the script with anyone else on my team, I'll just put in my keys here. But if I was worried about sharing my keys, what I can do is go over to my .secrets file and put them in here. Just as a reminder, don't share your API keys with anyone else. And in this example, I'll be sure to go back and delete these later on so I don't give everyone access to my account. But what this function does is we're building an S3 client using Boto3. And with this client, what we can do is upload that file that we get from our form trigger. To extract that information from that form variable, what we can do is type in a few lines of Python code. What this will be is we'll say our form dictionary. We'll pull it out from the WayScript variable system, and that's how we do it by using this variables dictionary, which stores all of these, and then we'll get the one we want by matching the name. So the key that we want is form. That sounds kind of complex, but all we're doing is setting a Python variable equal to a WayScript system one. Now that we have that Python variable, what we'll do is we'll say file bytes will be equal to form dict dot get and inside this dictionary, our bytes are inside of input two and then bytes. We'll do input two and then get bytes. From here, anytime we get a variable out of the WayScript file system, we'll probably want to make sure that is the type that we want. So I'll go ahead and say encode to make sure we're getting a byte type object. Now I'll say file name, and this will be from the same information, except this time it's our first input because remember we have that title that we want the file to be and we're getting it here. Now that we have the bytes, we can very easily write the file to the WayScript file system. We don't want to create a copy of every single file that gets uploaded to that file system. So we'll make sure that we override each one and we can do that by naming them the same thing. At this point, we can say F equals open. We'll choose some name. So let's just say sample.pdf. And then what we'll do is say f dot write, and we'll write in the bytes that we get. And we call those file bytes. Finally, we'll say f dot close. And what we're doing here is simply every time we get uploaded a PDF, we're just writing it to the same name. That way we don't have a hundred different files on our WayScript system because we don't necessarily want them here. We just want to upload them to S3. So each time that we do an execution, we'll look for the same file and upload it under the name that we get from this input one. So let's go ahead and finish this off. We'll need one more function to upload this. We'll create it here. 
and I'll copy and paste it in. Our upload function will just build the client from our first function. Then we'll open up that sample.pdf that we're creating in this line here. And once we have that, we'll print the response of uploading it to the bucket of our choosing. And we'll choose the file name to come from here, our input one. Finally, we'll just need to call that function and we're calling it S3 upload. Awesome, and that's all it takes. If any of these steps are confusing, the link for this program and all the code will be linked down below in the description. So check it out if you need more time with it. Now that we have all of our code here, let's test it out. We'll go to our form and we'll open it up by clicking view form. This time we'll say this is the title and we'll choose that same file from before. We'll submit that. After a few seconds, we see it submitted. And now back on Wayscript, we see executed your code. Over on AWS, we'll go and view that S3 bucket that I wrote to, which was Wayscript tutorials. And we see that the file is here and we're able to view it and download it all from here. And we're storing it using this Wayscript endpoint. The cool part about this is all you would need to do to set this up on your own is to clone this script, go into this Python code, and then from there, you just need to input your own keys and the bucket name that you want to write to. And other than that, this will be created for you. Of course, you can do your own customizations if you want to, but you can have an out of the box working tool for your business in just minutes. If you have any questions or comments about this script, please let me know and I'll be happy to help you out. Until next time.